Unfortunately, this facility has had numerous uh, starts and stops. So it hasn't been a, a situation that this facility has had a continuous uh, operation for years. So we would have a situation where Efrox would not supply gas. The uh, reason was that Efrox account by the city of Swanee was not paid. So there would not be gas to, to, to fuel up the facility. Uh, initially, I sent a number of uh, letters to the mayor, Mayor Saliers uh, Brink, and uh, unfortunately, with respect, the letters have fallen on deaf ears. Uh, and the, the biggest issue was we were told that there were financial implications, there, was, there were issues surrounding uh, the tender process, uh, because understandably something like a crematorium and the servicing of the furnaces related to the crematorium is not a service that you would expect too many service providers to, to engage in. Um, we look at it in such a way that it's quite depressing. You look at the dignity of the person that has passed, the families that have to undergo that particular pressure, the costs that they have to incur to go from Tswani. We're currently using facilities like in Krugersdorp, we're using them in uh, uh, Brixton, we're using some in Springs, in Lanasia. So if you look at the mileage that people have to travel from here to there, and you look at the additional cost, the undertakers, they add the cost onto who? The customer. And who's the customer? The bereaved families. When the family contacts me, we have to act immediately for finances. And in this case, where they have to travel all the way to Avalon in Lanasia, to Brixton, to Krugersdorp, it's, it's daunting on the families. And when the undertakers take the deceased in their car, they don't have space. I have a, had a family. The, these families don't have transport. They don't have cars. Their 2,200 rand a month merely sees them for their food. It's so emotionally draining. Traveling all that distance in that state where they've lost this family member. And then they are not there to do the final religious rites for the deceased because they can't travel. So is that fair? 